Back to the concrete we go as NASCAR heads to Dover Motor Speedway this weekend for the Worth 400. Make sure to watch out for Miles the Monster at the Monster Mile. Now let's preview Dover Downs. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news, and everything NASCAR. That was a little awkward what I did with my hand. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also comment your thoughts on this video. Are you excited for Dover Motor Speedway this weekend? Plus, give me any comments and improvements I can make on the channel. The Monster Mile. I personally am a huge fan of Dover. I don't think a lot of people are. I think it's most people's bottom half when it comes to their favorite racetracks. I love Dover. It's all about tire saving. And I'm excited to see what sort of race we can get this weekend. Because I think there is a potential that we could have the Bristol Motor Speedway tire there. Do not quote me on that. I repeat, do not quote me on that. But Bristol ran a Speedway tire and it was on concrete. I think there is a possibility they could be using the exact same tire this weekend at Dover. Like I said, do not quote me on that. I hope. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Uh, hope. The belief that there are better days ahead. But either way, this race is going to be all about tire saving. But either way, I'm hoping on a really great race at Dover Motor Speedway. Of course, last year, I wouldn't say was one of the best races at Dover Motor Speedway. It ended up being a Martin Monday race. One of the things Martin Truex Jr. is known for, if NASCAR is racing on Monday, he tends to perform. And Dover, that's where he got his first win. It always seems to be a really good track for Truex. But last year, we definitely didn't see as much tire fall off as is expected at Dover, but I'd say we still had a quality race. The things I remember from that race, I remember Truex was pretty strong throughout the day, but in the second half of the race, he came on really strong and looked dominant. Ross Chastain seemed to have a lot of speed along with William Byron and Denny Hamlin. And there were even a few moments that Ty Gibbs showed a lot of speed. I remember last year was one of those first races, I'd say, where Ty Gibbs proved that he could make it in the Cup Series. It's not like there was any doubt. Also, I have to keep in mind, when they were racing on that Monday, they were racing on a clean racetrack, and they had to build the rubber in because of all the rain they got. So I'm very intrigued on how this weekend goes. It could go one of two ways, depending on what tire they bring and what type of weather conditions we have. Because I feel like that's always been a huge problem that's not just plagued Dover, but plagued NASCAR in general, especially this season, and that is rain. And I think there's a few tracks on the schedule that tend to have more rainouts than others, and Dover is definitely one of those tracks. But if we get the typical history of Dover, I would expect a lot of pit stops, some drivers saving tires, some drivers driving really hard at the beginning, because Dover tends to have long green flag runs. But if NASCAR and Goodyear is bringing a very similar tire that they had last season, if we get more rain... I think it's really going to be all about track position as much as this season has been already. But saying all that doesn't mean there could be craziness at the end of the race. Because Dover has tended to have some gnarly accidents over the years. Dover Motor Speedway being a mile long concrete racetrack with high banked corners. When drivers come off those high banked corners out of turns 1 and 2 especially, that wall kind of jumps out at you. Uh, you see, you'll see a lot of drivers hit that wall throughout the day. You could even potentially see a big pileup on the back straightaway. <laughs> There's no track really quite like Dover. It has a good amount of speed, has a different track surface. And like I was mentioning with turn two, when you come off turn two, there's a bottom wall at the inside lane. And it's the same thing on the front stretch. And that's why we've seen some gnarly accidents at Dover over the years. You have so much speed coming off turn two and off turn four. If you spin out and hit that inside wall, you're just going to bounce right off the wall, right back into the middle of the racetrack. And it tends to cause some mayhem. If you couldn't tell already, my expectations for this race are all over the place. All I know is I'm very happy to be heading to a speedway because short tracks, super speedways, and road courses have been a struggle for this car. 
and this year it's kind of hit a boiling point. So let me be clear with you again. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to have on Sunday or potentially Monday if it gets rained out again. But that doesn't mean I don't have favorites. I think there is a couple of drivers, no matter what the conditions will be, are going to be at the top of those pylons. Ha. Ah. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I mentioned him earlier, Martin Trex Jr. This is probably his best racetrack. He is really good here. It's also his home racetrack where he got his first career victory for DEI all those years ago in the number one car. That first win, Dover car, is probably my favorite 164 diecast. Look at that. Another couple of drivers I expect to be near the front most of the race is William Byron and Denny Hamlin. Honestly, I didn't need to look back at the race or look at any highlights or look at any race results or do anything like that when it comes to last year's race because these two drivers anywhere we go at this point i expect them to be competing for the win as these two drivers i'm almost going to guarantee are going to be in the championship four unless something happens and another driver i would actually really keep my eye on closely i mentioned him earlier as well as ty gibbs ty gibbs had a pretty good race here last season as a rookie in the beginning portion of his rookie season and I feel like this might have been his first really good race for Joe Gibbs Racing last year. I would also keep an eye out for both the track house drivers of Daniel Suarez and Ross Chastain. Ross Chastain obviously had his success here last year, led a bunch of laps, even won a stage, looked pretty competitive in the number one. But this is also a really good track for Daniel Suarez as well. And he's actually had a really great season, Suarez. I've been really impressed by his season so far. Hopefully he can keep it up. And I was really debating on naming Rowdy one of the favorites, Kyle Busch, my favorite driver. But RCR has just been so hit and miss this year. I don't really trust anything when it comes to them right now. If Kyle Busch goes out there and runs top five all race long, I wouldn't be surprised. But if Kyle Busch is out there running 25th place all race long, I still won't be surprised. Honestly, you could include the other three Hendrick drivers that I didn't mention in the favorites as well. That being Kyle Larson. Chase Elliott, and even Alex Bowman, as this is a strong track for all three of them. But who do I think is going to take the dub? Got to reflect back to last week real quick. I picked Rowdy. That did not go well at all. But at the same time, it's Talladega, so it is what it is. I feel like the last couple of weeks, I've kind of given maybe not outside the box picks, but a lot of picks that people haven't made. I got to pick the low-hanging fruit on this one. I can't deny it. My pick is Martin Truex Jr. Boring pick. He's just so great at this racetrack. I don't really see anyone able to beat him straight up. Especially if this race gets moved to Monday. And we all know that is a possibility at Dover. And the underdog pick is honestly just as easy. I mentioned him as well. My underdog pick is Alex Bowman. Alex Bowman is extremely hungry for a victory as all three of his teammates have already won this season. And he's looked competitive the last couple of weeks. And Dover, I'd probably say, might be his best racetrack. I'm ready. I'm walking tall. <laughs> you think you're ready to run with the Bulls? I've been earning and burning, snapping necks and cashing checks. So I'll definitely keep an eye on that number 48 on Sunday. But let me know in the comments, who do you think is going to win the Worth 400 at Dover Motor Speedway? Also, do you think we're going to have another rain out? Be honest with me. Don't you lie to me. But that'll do it for me. My name is Kyle, a.k.a. Racing Boy Short, saying peace.